All right, boys and girls. So I figured it's something quick and easy tonight. I'm going to make some uh, um, beef knuckle cheesesteak sandwiches. Well, sliders, actually. Um, but I have my griddle on here today. So I'm going to do some griddle work. See how she runs with some griddle work happening. Um, see where this is what I got. Pull this guy out, otherwise this is going to be in my way the entire time. I'm going to make a little shelf for that, otherwise the pig's always eating it. So I got my lodge here, fits perfectly right here in the center. Um, I actually did some hot dogs on it just for lunch, just a uh, quick, you know, threw some hot dogs on here. And um, I did them at 400. So... I usually want my griddle around 400 when I'm doing my cheesesteaks and stuff like that. So I'm going to see how how evenly it resonates if I set the controller to 400 to the griddle. Um, and I'll, I'll check it with my infrared. Um, then I'll know exactly, exactly what temperatures I need to set when I'm using the griddle itself, you know. So it'll come in handy when I bust out some breakfast or whatever, you know, that kind of stuff. So we're going to uh, fire this bad boy up. Give her some life. And we're going to go to 400. And that's good. I think I'm uh, pretty good on pellets. Uh, yeah, it should be enough. So, got some oak and char hickory in there. So I'm going to let this thing heat up. Uh, I'm going to heat the griddle up at the same time, and then we'll test it with the infrared and see, like I said, how well uh, the temperature of the controller resonates to the temperature of the griddle. Uh, and um, we'll get some cheesesteaks going. All right, guys. Um, she's at uh, temp. It's been about 10, 15 minutes. Got a little sidetracked us chopping onions and shit. Um, but let's check this thing out with the infrared and see what this griddle has to say. Try to get it to a point to where you guys can see it. That should be all right. 407, 406. So it's pretty, man, you can't really see that, can you? That's pretty, uh, pretty decent, actually. So that temp at the grate is what that controller is saying. So that's beautiful. Let me get you in a better spot. Let's cook some shit. I'm going to, um, if I knew where my tongs went, there they are. Oh, got to test them. They work. So, got some butter here. Melt it down, a little smoke in there, same thing. Place apart. That's showing me right there. I need to bring my backs up a little bit. A little on level. Right, let's get this shit going. Give that a second to brown. Pull some of that flavor out of that butter. Get you guys a little closer, I think. You see that? Here, I think I'm blocking the light. Let me move you over here. think that's any better we're going over here theory watch out oh this is this is my new uh my new barbecue buddy theory can you say hi can you say hi can you say hi it's a little connie corso my new barbecue buddy let's get these bad boys on there Guys sweat down a little bit. Now I want to preface this next ingredient. All right, I am hardcore fresh mushroom, portobellas, that kind of stuff. But when it comes to my cheesesteaks, I gotta use the canned mushrooms. So hate on them if you will. I don't know if it's just nostalgia or what. But when it comes to my cheesesteaks, 
I just gotta have canned mushrooms. So, is what it is. Cheese steak just isn't the same with fresh mushrooms on it. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, canned mushrooms, boys and girls. A whole can of them. I love every second of it. I want to. I, I want to. I'd like to add. I have flame coming out on both sides. I know. You know. I'm not really discussing it. I've thrown everything I possibly can at it, and it does everything I want it to do. Uh, it couldn't be any better at doing it, in my opinion. In my opinion, I've had no issues. All the cooks you guys see, there's even been a couple little lunches here and there, some burgers, some hot dogs, things like that that you haven't seen. I have yet to clean a single thing. I haven't even lifted the grate up, grates up on it. I haven't pulled out the ash pan. I have done absolutely nothing. And right now, I have the lid open. I have the controller set at 400. My controller, the ambient temp, is actually only reading 250. So it's in afterburn mode. And I'm still alive. All right, so I'm gonna spread these bad boys out a little bit. Pull some of that. Got a real buttery end back there. I gotta put a level on this bad boy. So I'm gonna spread them guys out. I never salt my mushrooms until after, otherwise, or, or my onions, you don't get that good caramelization. If you salt them afterwards, you know, they get that flavor, you don't sweat out any of the extra moisture, but if you salt them too soon, they start sweating all that moisture out, then you're dealing with the moisture of the onions and nothing caramelizes well, so, just what I've noticed. So now I'm gonna shut this bad boy up. I'm gonna let them cook for a little bit. I got my, uh, theory, watch out buddy. I got my um, beef knuckle all shaved up, cut them up, and um, I chopped it, then I threw it in the freezer for a little while. Um, it's already cooked, so and it's thin, so it's gonna cook super quick, and I don't want it to turn to boot leather when I'm trying to eat these cheese steaks. Because I am gonna to toss it in at the end, get the cheese on it, throw the buns on top, and let all that stuff just kinda of come together. You do its cheese steak thing, you know, it's a little dance. So, um, it is gonna be not fully frozen, but it's gonna be super, super cold. So I'm hoping it helps a little bit without overcooking the meat. But I'm gonna let this go for a little bit and I'll be back. All right, guys. Oh, man. Got my lens dirty. Sorry about that. All right. That ain't much better. Anyway, this is what we got going on. Just coming along nicely. Very nicely. So what I'm gonna do <coughs> is I'm gonna move some of this stuff back. Pull a little bit of this forward here. I gotta save some, my son doesn't eat. He doesn't like the mushrooms in the onions, so I'm gonna split it in half, just like so. Man, nice work, nice work. And here's our beef knuckle, look at that. Yum. I'm going to throw some in here. Oh man, we need a little more than that. I get stingy. That should be alright, right? Close enough? Sure. And now, I'm going to try to keep this together. If I've learned anything from this experience so far, it is the fact that I need a larger griddle. That way I don't have to mix it too much by splitting them in half. So, try not to thin it out too much. So even if uh, some of the pieces do become a little overcooked, we're still safe, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna bring it back just like that. Yeah, 
that'll work. That'll be good. Now, let me throw my sons on. I'll put him right up here in the front. Growing boy, right? All right, nice. Now, it's good old provolone. We are not going to skimp at all on that. Actually, I'm gonna move these bad boys back a little. Double down on that cheese, like so. All right. So I'm gonna keep them down just for a minute. Should be, uh, should melt pretty quickly. Um, she's roaring pretty good. So I'm gonna let them just melt down just slightly. I'm gonna to toss the buns on top and then we're gonna shut that bad boy down and uh, let them buns steam up on top of that deliciousness while um, it's in, you know, it's shut down a little bit, so. That way I'm not throwing continuous heat at it, but that's it. So let that melt down. We'll be back. Okay, it's been a minute, minute and a half, something like that. Uh, I got my pan situated. Let's get our buns on here. Get you in a little closer. Catch that some food porn action, you know what I mean? Count three. do. I'm gonna toss in bad boys on there like that. You guys right on the top. Do the same thing here with my sons. Bad boys on the top. And let's shut her down. Thing did a hell of a job keeping his temp and I will say that. All right so now we're in shutdown. I'm gonna just let them steam a little bit. Let them finish up. And um, we will uh, get my bad boy ready here and we'll scoop them off. Then we're gonna eat them. So we'll be back. All right, got some nice buns going on. Everything's all melted, gooey, gooey. Let's take my sons off first. I don't taint them. That should be good. Oh, man, look at them bad boys. Woo wee! She's a thon, man. It's awesome. Tray these up. And this next batch calls for the big boy. I'm gonna set that there. I'm probably gonna regret the hell out of that, but we're gonna do it anyway. Nice. And bad boys right there. You guys see me? Damn. I'll eat them. soldiers down here so let's save them and that's what we got boys and girls Ooh, some beef knuckle cheesesteak sliders man I say uh, the griddle work um, the griddle works great man I mean it's awesome I mean it's nice that you have a, a nice tight control over the temp like that it kept its temp um, it did awesome man so all right I'm gonna let this thing shut down gotta take a couple pictures for you know uh, the non video clan Instagram things like that but uh, then we're gonna dig in so all right boys and girls that was it just wanted to do some griddle work with you 
That's all I got. Later.